Hey guys, it's Shannon, Flying Arrow Archery and Element Archery. And um, some of the questions I get asked a lot is, uh, what kind of tools do you need to work on bows and build arrows and that kind of thing? So, uh, thought I'd kind of do a little bit different video and kind of give you a little tour of the bow lab, if you want to call it that. So, um, just kind of show you the, what uh, what you need and what you don't need. And uh, you know, sometimes you can go a little cheaper on some things and get done, and sometimes you. You really need to spend the extra few dollars and get the good stuff. So, um, again, this is my opinion. This is what I like. Not to set way. There's many, many different ways of accomplish, accomplishing the same goal in archery. And uh, that's the beauty of it. So, that's why I love it so much. But I'll kind of show you what I got going here. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, you need yourself a bow press if you're going to get serious about tuning bows. Uh, that's probably one of the big items, one of the number one things to bow press. So, um, Got to have a bow press if you're going to work on some bows. So, uh, this little jewel right here, if you're going to do a little bit of tuning, uh, you're going to kind of need a, uh, a bow vise. Just uh, mounts right to your, to your counter there. A little bow uh, uh, stabilization. It's got some adjustments on it. And you know, you can rock your bow back this way. You can bring it left and right. This one right here just locks it down. Uh, it's good for squaring everything up, getting everything centered, and makes it easy, life easy to work on. Uh, a lot of people ask about draw boards. That's what this is. Um, I made my own using a boat winch and a digital scale. And basically what that does is, um, here I'll just show you. It's uh, for cam timing, cam timing and tuning. So what you're going to do is put your bow in here. Take your digital scale, put that on your string, draw your bow back. See? And you can stop that at any position you want. Um, got the APA Mamba here, 32, but allows you to check your cam timing, cam sync. Uh, check your true draw length. I've got this board measured. You probably see the adjustments on it. Uh, and it allows you to check your true draw length. Got the digital scale down here. Kind of show you the draw weight as you're drawing it back. But you can hold that bow there for a really long time. Uh, do the work that you need to do. Uh, draw board. Very, very beneficial. Great, uh, great item to have around the bow shop. Next stop, I'll kind of show you this. I kind of made this myself, my own kind of deal. Um, I just took a tape measure and cut it off the tape, and I've got it set right here so I know that the end of that is would uh, be zero. I got to run all the way out to 32 inches, and uh, what that tool is great for is you need to know how long an arrow shaft is. Our element storm here. Put the throw of the knock right up on there. Lay my arrow on there. And Check arrow links. It's a quick check. Makes it easy. Very, very useful. That's a, that's a good tip. If you're going to build yourself a bow shop, you might need one of those. Uh, moving on. Right here. If you're going to skimp, don't skimp on your fletching jigs. Uh, in my opinion, the bits and burgers are some of the best. Um, uh, I, I like to fletch a dozen arrows on one jig for consistency, but uh, I keep one with a helical fletch and one with a straight fletch. So I'll do different, different fletches. I got a left clamp around here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. Um, a whole gamut of tools, pliers, wrenches, screwdrivers, you know, you name it. Uh, set of bubble levels. On this bow, take the front one to the front. Put one on the string, get your bow level, then you set your rest and get your rest level. Um, just kind of some neat little tools there. Got to have a set of levels. Those are pretty cheap. Um, let's see, what else do we got? <clears throat> got a pile of broadheads there. Uh, let me show you this tool. Right there will make life easy. Those are D-loop pliers. Those will make a D-loop. I kind of keep coming back to the bow here. Sorry about the bumpy ride. But uh, 
them dudes will fit right in there just like that tighten up your d-loop great tool I think they're 12 bucks oh, get you some of those um, moving down uh, best arrows in the world element arrows right there I'm an archery uh, got me a little arrow rack made that myself uh, put that together works out pretty good got releases here got the orange safety release when your buddies come over and want to test uh, all your bows out to make sure they don't dry fire them, give them the, give them the safety release. <laughs> That's a free pro tip. Okay. Um, got my broadhead set up here. A little shout out Precision Peeps. Knockout Contenders. Uh, great knocks. Great light of knocks. Great peep sights. Great, uh, flying Arrow Archery Broadhead is perfect. So, next thing I got, uh, this is a Pine Ridge uh, archery, or Arrow Checker, and it just... Just let you spin your arrow. That's all it is. Checks for true uh, uh, center on, or um, a square cut on your end of your arrows. When you after you cut your arrows, you want to spin them just to make sure they're square. Well, that's all that does. Moving on down the line, you got a digital caliper for measuring. Uh, that's a pretty good tool to have. Um, uh, almost a must. Digital scale. You're gonna need you one of those. You're gonna start weighing things. Um, Probably one of the more expensive items, but one of the items that I use the most when I'm building arrows um, is this thing right here. This is a, this is happens to be a Ram Products arrow spine tester, and a uh, great tool to spine arrows. When you get a dozen arrows, you can check the spines and to see make sure the consistency is right. Uh, great, great tool. It's a little on the pricey side. I think they're about three hundred dollars, but um, that's an excellent tool to have if you're gonna you're gonna be playing with your own arrows. So. Um, been around, next shot. Obviously, we've got the arrow cutoff saw down here. Got it labeled under here. Got it ready to go. Got my uh, liquids, my alcohol preps, miscellaneous tools, feathers, fletchings, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, that's a rundown. Uh, kind of what to, what I've got going here, what my, my tools that I use on a daily basis, trying to build arrows and work on a few bows. Again, I'm not doing it professionally. I, uh, uh, just work out of my home here and just kind of do stuff on the side. So, but uh, that's what I use, and maybe uh, maybe I showed you a tool you don't have you might want to get. So, uh, if you got any questions, just give me a, uh, shoot me a message on the YouTube channel or on uh, Facebook. Message me. Uh, you can hit me up there. Got a question about any of the tools? Just shoot me a message. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, like and subscribe to Flying Arrow Archery and the Element Archery. It's actually Element Archery Official channel, uh, YouTube channel, so uh, give us a, a subscribe there and uh, got a lot more videos coming to you. Thank you.